We're going to go into this one here, electric throttle ETC condition. Is that what it is? Here we go guys, this is where we're going to go today, the electric throttle condition. We're going to have a little look into that in case you're wondering what it's all about. Haven't seen much information online, so this video should help you. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Let's move on, because it's time to move on. Okay, so this is the main screen that you get when you first power it up. There's a lot of it's self-explanatory. You can do a check on your voltage. You can look at the diagnosis where you go deep into the actual specifics of your vehicle. But on this particular occasion, we're going to go into the service menu. Now in the service menu, you've got these options here on the MB version 2, or this is a multi-system for 10 cars. But the one we're interested in today is the ETC. Now on the Mercedes, it's adaptive. It will learn your characteristics as you start to drive. If you're quite sharp on the throttle, it will, it will learn that. And you can reset this if you just bought the vehicle, so that it will get it back to its default condition and then you can uh, have the car set up so that it's going to be good for your driving style. So let's go into that. I obviously want to check this is um, the different versions of vehicle that you can do this on. So Mercedes-Benz is what we're in today. This is just the software version. I'm going to go into the latest version. Uh, my car is a SL230, which is that one. The year is 2003 to 2008. Enter that. And I know that my engine is the 23467, which is the 3.7 litre. So just follow the instructions on the screen. So here it's saying set ignition switch on. So let's just do that. Okay, ignition switch is on. Press F2 to continue. Set ignition switch to off. Follow what it says. Turn the key off. Key is off. Press F2, OK. Now it's going to say the default initialization. So we enter into that. And this is the connection that we got. So have we got the Benz 38 pin, which is the old school one, or is it an OBD2, which is what we have? So it's a 16 pin, which is the one that connects with the rectangular port inside the vehicle. And by the way, if you do get a chance, if you give me a thumbs up, it'd be really appreciative. The reason I ask that is that it helps me understand which videos are being helpful, which is one of the reasons why I did this video, because there isn't really any information that I've seen uh, readily available out there. So um, I hope this really helps you. OK, so we select into that one, press enter. Set ignition switch to on. Done that, press F2. The default initialization erases the following self adaptations. So what it's going to do is set this back to default. We're going to have the mixture adaptation removed, the sensor rotor adaptation removed and the throttle valve stop. All of these that gets taught and learnt as you drive. The car starts to get familiar with your driving style. As I said, if you bought a vehicle and you're finding it's perhaps not quite doing the gear change as you want and the throttle doesn't quite feel right. This is how you reset it back to factory. It says underneath there, preconditions. The ignition has to be on, which it is. The engine is not running, which it isn't. And the vehicle obviously is stationary. So we can hit F2, which is yes, to continue. Set ignition switch to off. Okay, ignition switch is now off. Now we're gonna go back to F2, which is continue. Please wait. It says it's nine seconds. It's clearing all the memory. Set the ignition switch to on. Back on again. F2 OK. Default initialization. Set the ignition switch to off. Back off again. Press F2 OK. Wait 10 seconds. Set switch to on. Back on again. F2 OK. Control module reset. Please wait. The default initialization of the engine control unit has been performed. F2 OK. 
that's us back out of that menu there. And if I go back one more time, just to remind you, that's the screen that we went into there. So there you go, quite a lot of turning the car off and on, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Just follow the information that it says. I haven't actually seen this being done um, with many videos online, so I thought this would be helpful for the people out there that would like to see just what that ETC throttle resets all about. Now just drive the car as you would normally do. It's then gonna learn your driving style and you should notice uh, an improvement perhaps in the smoothness if you're more of a relaxed driver and you felt it a little bit kind of throttle changes were and the gear changes perhaps were a little bit too uh, punchy, then you'll probably find now that um, you've got that improvement. So I suggest you take the car for a run, drive it around and um, do that a few times and see how it goes. So listen, thanks so much for the likes. If you get a chance, um, give me a thumbs up. It really helps. It makes me then realize that these videos are actually being helpful for you. Anything at all, if you pop it in below, um, but most importantly, thanks again. Let me know what other videos you'd like me to do. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on.